Were the Government's motion to be considered unamended, I would vote for it. Had the Second Amendment been called, I would yeah. vote for it. Yeah. I won't vote for the First Amendment. Yeah. I was on the Standards Committee up to 2003 when I withdrew on a point of practice rather than principle that the House, the Speaker and the then Labour Government had not supported Elizabeth Filkin. I'm not going to change my practice now. I'm one of the people, probably like most people in this House, who've read the full report. I've read what the Chief Vet said about the milk allegation. I've read what my right honourable friend has said, and to him I join in passing sympathy for what's happened in his life. I recognise that the involvement of Randox with Aintree and with him and his wife's role at Aintree means that he would be close to a business. And I recognise that much of what he said was uncontested by the Commissioner and by the Standards Committee. The issue is whether he had done better, as I think was possibly indicated by my right friend, the Prime Minister, in Prime Minister's questions, to have said he held one view, the Commissioner and the Committee held another. He now recognises that what they felt was reasonable, and he's sorry to have had a view which has caused this much upset and the, the, the difficulties to all of us. I still hope that it, were I in that situation, I would have had the, uh, the sense, basically, to accept that there are views other than my own, and I shouldn't see things always with my own justification, rather than see them as the way people outside this House and some inside this House would see them. As for the decision on whether the contents of my right honourable friend for North, South Northamptonshire uh, <coughs> amendment is correct, I do recognise that what our honourable friend from Harwich has said was about the 2003 recommendation of the Committee on Science and Public Life is worth looking at. But that was 18 years ago, and if there's a serious problem, it should have been brought back by them, or considered by the House, or by senior members of this House during the last 18 years. And I'm happy to bring it forward now as a way of changing what should be the normal process of upholding the, Stand the Standards Committee's endorsement of the advisers, the, the uh, Parliamentary Standards Commissioner's uh, advice to the Committee. Secondly, I refer to the debate in 2010 when Jack Straw was the Justice Secretary, when Sir George Young, as he then was, uh, contributed for my party, and I contributed as well. We chose the system we're now using. If we want to consider changing it and to do it in a proper way, I don't regard this as appropriate now. Yeah.